So we talked about the need for labels when you want to talk about Mac or multi-level security. And we even said, well, you know, user has a certain label, file has another label, and we have to say, we have to check if user with this label L1, uh, should he or she be able to access the document that has label L2? So, so we have to sort of compare these labels. So uh, here we're going to explore, you know, how that comparison might work. So let's just talk about labels of the type that we discussed in the context of the military intelligence community and, and how they access information. So sensitivity, how sensitive data is. We said that we had those you know, circles. Uh, top secret is the most sensitive. Secret, next level, uh, then classified and, and unclassified. We had restricted in the middle there, but I'm just picking these four examples. So what does this greater than mean? So we are saying that top, these, are, these levels are actually ordered totally. And by total order, what we mean here here is that if I pick any two of these, I can tell you which one is more sensitive than the other one. So TS is the most sensitive. If you took TS and any other of these levels, then we, we know that this is higher or is greater than the other level. Similarly, secret is greater or higher than classified. So this greater really means it's higher level of sensitivity and total order basically means when you pick any pair, so the relations and various kind of orders that you can define for the elements that are in, 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 in a given set, that's what defines a relation. So uh, the total here means you pick any two elements of this set and there is an order between them. So one is always going to be more sensitive than the other one. And here we see that through this greater than sign that we have, symbol that we have. We do know that labels have a level, sensitivity level, uh, but they also have a compartment. And we said compartments are sort of sets of different topics or categories. And how do you compare sets? You know, you take a, uh, take a set S1 and S2. S1 may be contained in S2. S2 may be contained in S1, or uh, neither set may be contained in the other one, okay? So if set S1 has some elements that S2 doesn't, and vice versa, then neither set will be contained in the other. So when, when you have sets, the way you compare them is, you know, containment or subset or, you know, is one subset of another one. And we know that uh, that order is a partial order, okay? So total order is when pick any two and, you know, one always is, you know, greater than or higher than the other. Uh, when you talk about sets, we know there are going to be, set, you know, pairs of sets where neither one contains the other one and they're not going to be all Ordered, so that's called partial order. So, uh, and we'll explore this a little bit more through examples, but if a label is going to have these two parts, one part is totally ordered, one part is ordered sometimes and not comparable at other times, so that's the partial order. So when we talk about actually ordering labels, we have to look into the label. We have to look into the sensitivity level and you know, what are the sensitivity levels of if you, the, the, the labels that we're comparing is L1 and L2. Then we have to look at L1 sensitivity level and L2's sensitivity level and how they compare. And then we have to look at the compartment of each one of those and then compare those compartments. And by comparing both parts, then we're going to be able to decide you know, how to order the labels.